Hello everybody, welcome to the video. Today we're gonna be doing something a little different. We're not gonna be looking at photo gear or lenses or tutorials, but we're gonna be looking at something that you can put your photo gear in. This is the Jumper Backpack by Brevity. It's pretty sweet. It has a, a side access pocket here so you can access your camera incognito, get your shot, put your camera away. And this, this backpack is so nondescript, nobody would even know you're carrying a ton of gear in your bag. All right, so before we get started, first thing I gotta say is Brevity did send me this bag to review, but they don't get to watch this video before I post it on YouTube. The opinions in this video are my own and no one else's. So I'm gonna give you an honest review of this bag. I'm gonna tell you the good, the bad, and I've had this bag for about, I don't know, just over a month now, I've taken it on a few shoots, and so far, I'm pretty happy, just gotta be honest with you guys. That's got nothing to do with the fact that I got sent the bag. I'm always trying to be honest and share like true, like real thoughts. I'm not trying to sell anything to anybody. I'm just trying to give you honest opinions and make sure that if you're interested in buying a bag, you're getting an informed video. Okay, so this backpack is made by a company called Brevity and this is their regular size backpack. They also make a large one, which can hold more stuff, bigger bag. I don't know what the size difference is, but if you go to their website, they sort of, they have pictures of the bag so you can check out the different sizes. And they do come in a variety of colors. I like this green color. I think this is pretty cool. It's a nice green canvas color. And the one thing you will notice when you, when you touch this bag is that it is really soft. This canvas material has a nice soft texture to it. Not that that should influence whether or not you buy a bag, but if you're into textures and you like <laughs> soft bags, this bag is pretty soft. And another thing I'll mention is I love the logo. It's just like this little logo. You can barely see it. It doesn't stand out. It doesn't, it doesn't scream, hey, this is a camera bag, which is... What's really cool about this bag, it's very incognito, so you could be walking around with like $20,000 worth of gear in here and nobody is really gonna know because it just looks like a regular old backpack. All right, so let's talk about build quality. Obviously, we touched on the material used. It's very nice. Uh, zippers, zippers, nice and smooth. Nothing really to worry about with the zippers. They just open, there's no weird material on them for things to get caught. Another big concern for me is the laptop tablet tray or area, pocket, whatever you want to call it. It's nice and padded in there. There's padding on the back and there's padding on the side that faces the camera. So if you have your laptop or tablet in there and you have a heavy camera in there, they're not going to smash into each other and you're not going to crack your screen on your tablet or something like that. So that's a very nice thing. Uh, you know, straps, colors, everything seems to be very nice and uniform, very nicely built. I really like this bag a lot. There aren't, like the quality control, I gotta say is like top notch because there aren't any defects that I can find in the bag. So kudos to uh, Brevity for that. It's really nice. And obviously, like I said earlier, the logo is really nice. It doesn't stand out. But since I wanna give you a really fair review, I gotta be super nitpicky. So let's, uh, let's jump in. One of the things that is kind of a negative, depending on how you wanna look at it, is these, these straps. It's just basically a little bit of foam with uh, some material over top and it's a very basic strap, something you'd pick up in like a, a cheap Walmart bag or something like that. So it looks, or it feels very cheap, looks cheap, but I have two thoughts on this. Like, yes, it would be nice that it, with a camera bag at this price point, if the imagination and the creativity and the build quality was a little better on the straps. But at the same time, like for me, what is this bag? This is a very incognito bag that you can wear around you can carry your camera gear in here and you can shoot, you know, street photos or travel photos and people aren't going to be looking at you. Like <laughs> if you're walking around with one of these on your back, people are just going to be like, hey, that guy must be carrying some camera equipment. Whereas with this, it's like, it could just be a regular day bag or something like that. So these straps kind of like lend themselves to that camouflage, that idea, that notion. So I think on, on that other side of the, the coin that these straps work perfectly with this bag because it just doesn't make it look like a super high-end bag with really uh, expensive equipment in it. Now there's another thing I'll harp on this bag for and this is pretty common with bags like this is uh, the padding. See the padding is great on the bottom and the side, left side, right side, all that kind of stuff. But when you get into the corners, the padding could be better. Like if you look at a bag like this, which is you know designed by a camera company for you know camera bags, the corners are super pat padded and rigid. But with this bag, there is padding in the corners, but it's not as thick as the padding you'd find on the sides or the bottom. The bottom is nicely padded, but I just wanna say that if you buy this bag and you drop, drop it on the corner like that, or drop it on this corner, or drop it on this corner, 
you know, you might damage your gear. The back seems to be padded the best. The back is really, really tight, but I mean, right here, this, this whole area on the bottom. So just be careful, don't drop it like this, don't drop it like this, or don't drop it like this. But if you drop it like that, it's fine. This is fine, <laughs> this is fine, right? So just something to keep in mind. And like I said, this is pretty common with these camera bags that aren't made by professional camera bag companies. And that's nothing against brevity. I think this is a very fantastic bag, but it's just something as a consumer to be aware of is the corners aren't quite as padded as the sides and the bottom. All right, and the last thing related to build quality is just the design, like the design of the bag. It's just a very clean, sleek looking bag. It's not overly in your face. It just it kind of fits with anything that you wear. It's just a very simple, clean aesthetic. And it, I think it's just a very beautiful bag. Like I'm really looking forward to using this bag more. And with that being said, let's take a look at the good stuff and that's the pockets and the features that this bag has. So let's open it up. All right, so let's go around the outside, round the outside. Round the outside. So little tour of the bag. So let's start with the, uh, this little back area here. And this is what I call a little tech pouch. And this is awesome. So you got your main area where you can put your stuff and then you got little pockets on either side. So this is a cool little tech pouch. So if you're gonna keep your cables organized, you want a little mouse, memory cards, filters, you know, larger things. That is pretty cool. I like the way they organize this. It's not just a one big open space where you can drop stuff in. You have little pockets in there. So kudos to uh, Brevity for that. I really like that a lot. Next up, there's another zipper here. And if you open this up, you get access to the camera area. And this is all Velcro, of course, so you can reconfigure this however you want. You can move things around. So uh, that's pretty awesome. And you can hold some pretty good gear in there. Like this is a monster of a lens. This is a 28 to 70. And we can just move this over a little bit. And there's enough space there for the camera and the lens. And I was so surprised because like I said, this lens is a monster and it fits there. Even if you have one of these old 70 to 200s, it won't fit with the camera and the adapter, but you can get one to fit in there. So that is pretty cool. So you can hold a surprisingly large amount of stuff with this bag and that is awesome. And the other really cool thing is, is you have side access. So this can stay closed. You don't have to open up your whole bag while you're cruising around, traveling or whatever. You have a little side access pouch or size, side access flap and you can have your camera in there. So there you go. You got the camera in there. Just open that up, pull it out, shoot. And you know what I love about this backpack? Check this out right here. Check out that simplicity. That is awesome. And that's exactly what you want to see if you're shopping for a bag that has a side access uh, zipper like that. Because check this crap out. Look at this. This is by a company called SHIT. That's how it's spelt right there. I don't recommend them. Don't buy products from them because check this out. There is a zipper there. There's like what? <laughs> what? And then they want you to put batteries here. These are pouches for battery, camera batteries. And of course, that's gonna go up against your LCD screen when your LCD screen is in the back of the camera, like when, you're, when your camera's in the, in the backpack, like what? So yeah, that is what you call trash. Okay, so let's continue with this bag here. We have a storage area up top as well, which is great. And you can put whatever you want in there. There's another little zipper pouch which is really cool. So you can, I guess if you have pens, pencils, whatever, if you're a student for photographers, you can put your batteries, chargers and things in there too. And here's the really cool thing. If we open up this back area again, this whole camera area, you can take apart and right here. So you can actually take out all this Velcro and use this as a regular backpack which is pretty cool. So it's, it does a little double duty. It could be your camera bag or it could be just a general, like you're going on vacation, you want a camera or you want a bag to carry all your stuff in, which is pretty awesome. And on the top here, there is like a laptop storage bag or a storage area. This is a 14 inch MacBook Pro. It fits in there and there's not much room. Like I can slip my finger in here on the side, but it's pretty tight. So if you have a 16 inch, I don't know if that's gonna fit, but I can tell you for sure 14 inch fits, no problem. Here's a little ASMR for you. <laughs> All right, so that's pretty cool. Now, 
on the back, you have a little, so they call it a secret, uh, a secret uh, pouch or whatever, or a secret spot or whatever, but you can see the zipper, so it's not so much of a secret, people will see that. If it had a little bit of like a flap that went over this with a little Velcro and the zipper was hidden, it would be more in incognito. But hey, if you want to put your passport in there, you want to put a phone or something like that, there's a little spot there that people don't know about. And then of course, if you're traveling and you got to put your bag on one of those carts, you've got this loop for that. On this side, we have a nice pocket with some stretchy elastic bits here. These things do concern me because I know over time this, uh, this stretchiness does you know, unstretch or stop working. It just dies after a while, but you could probably put a tripod in there. In fact, I'll test that out. You have a little uh, strap here that's sewn on so it doesn't fall off, which is nice. You can adjust the size and you can use that to lock in the tripod if it's there. On the bottom again, you have two more straps that are sewn on and you can adjust the size so you can put your tripod in at the bottom, a sleeping bag if you're camping or whatever, a jacket. If you're walking around, you can throw your jacket in there. So yeah, that is pretty cool. All right, one thing to note here is that this camera bag is not weather sealed. If it rains, this bag will get wet, your gear will get wet. However, if you buy this on the website, there is an option there for a rain cover. So you can cover the bag with a rain cover. And I presume that's just kind of like that elastic sleeve that fits over your bag. They didn't send me one for this review, so I can't really review the rain cover, but it is an option available on the website. So if, you, if you're using this camera bag in a rainy place, there you go, get the rain cover. All right, so let's talk about usability and who this bag is for. Now, first and foremost, it's for photographers and videographers, but its, it's usefulness can extend way beyond that. But let's start with photography first. Obviously, this is your, your camera area here. And uh, right now I have an R7 in here with a 24 to 105 lens. That's an APS-C censored camera. It's on the sort of like medium, smallish side for professional cameras and we have a 24 to 105 zoom lens on there and it fits snugly, no problem. You have room here for another lens, another lens, another lens, another lens, depending on the size of this lens. Obviously you can take this off and put a longer lens in here and you can fit a 70 to 200 old EF lens in here. And uh, so, I mean, you can fit lenses. It's not gonna be as versatile as, you know, your big camera bag where you have all your gear with you. But if you're going out for, let's say a travel vacation, you wanna go on like a shoot downtown or you know, travel through the countryside and you just want to bring your your camera and a couple lenses with you this is the perfect bag plus you got all the other pouches and zippers you can put more stuff in which is great all right so videographers is this a good bag for videographers and i would say it all comes down to the size of your kit like obviously if you're carrying a big kit with you this is nowhere even close to enough space for a full videography kit but if you're a run and gun filmmaker you have your camera you have a couple lenses, you have a light or something like that, this would definitely work for you. You can even fit a small gimbal into the laptop tray at the top, which is awesome. And uh, in this situation, I'm using an RS3 mini gimbal. And uh, of course, yeah, you can fit, you have your tech pouch area, you have your top pouch area. So yeah, definitely it, uh, it works as a videography bag if you have, you know, depending on how much gear you have to carry with you. Now, the other person that would really benefit from a bag like this is anybody who's on the go, like a, a content creator on the go. So if you're a blogger, vlogger, you know, let's say you're one of those people who like, I don't want to sit in the office and work. I don't want to sit at home and work. I want to go to the coffee shop. I want to go to the park. I want to go somewhere. Like you can easily fit an iPad in there. No problem. You can fit a laptop in there. No problem. So you can just, you can have your, your, your I guess your, your office, take your office with you, put your laptop in there, put your extra batteries in there. You can put a change of clothes if you want, a jacket. You can have other stuff that you need, like lights or a little camera if you want to shoot yourself. So, I mean, let's say you're a mobile vlogger. Yeah, this would be an excellent camera bag for that kind of thing too. And then, of course, you can remove, you can remove this inside pouch area and you can remove all the Velcro in here and just use it as a regular bag. So, if you want a regular bag with a laptop storage, you can definitely do that. And let's say, you know, you want a vacation bag or let's say you're in school. Like I know when I was in school, we carried binders <laughs> so you can fit your binders in there. Although I don't think anybody's carrying binders with them anymore. You can have your laptop and whatever else you need for the school day in there. And uh, yeah, so I'd say it's a good like campus student bag. It's a good content creator bag. It's a good like vlogger bag. It's a good bag for people who, 
need their computer and their laptop, and let's say they're running around and doing different meetings, Zoom calls here and there, fantastic for you. If you have a small kit for photography and videography, it's a perfect bag for that as well. I, I, like if you're shooting weddings and events, maybe, depends how many lenses you need. Typically I shoot, I bring four lenses with me for weddings. I could fit, yeah, 24 to 70 in here. I could fit, let's say a 50 mil for close-ups. I could fill like a 100 mil macro for the ring shots. I could fit 16 to 35, maybe, maybe, maybe up here. I mean, maybe you could squeeze your wedding kit into here and some flashes and stuff up there as well, but it's possible. I mean, for me, like I'm a little older now. I've been in the photography business 19 years. So when I was younger, I didn't mind being a Sherpa. I'd put like 60, 70 pounds on my bag, in my bag and just walk and go shoot a wedding, go do whatever. But as I get older, it's like, I really appreciate smaller camera bags that are well thought out that I could put more stuff in and just like not have to worry about hauling this heavy backpack around with me. So yeah, super happy with this bag and its versatility and yeah. All right, so overall, I'm super happy with this backpack. I think it's an awesome backpack from aesthetics to the amount of gear it can carry, to the look, to the like the, the straps, which make it look like it's not like a super expensive camera bag or anything like that. So super happy with this bag. But if I could make one suggestion for future backpacks, there's two suggestions actually I would make. One is these straps on the bottom would be nice if they were just some sort of clip. I mean, I get, you know, they're, they're attached to the bag and so on and so forth, and that's fine. And then you can, you can open them and close them and stuff. But for photographers, speed is an essential part of what we do. So it'd be great if these were some kind of clips or Velcro so we could quickly take the, the tripod or whatever we have mounted down here on and off. That would be great. And the same thing for this side clip too. I mean, it's nice that it clips in here like this. It's aesthetically, it looks really cool, but some kind of snapping clips would just make things so much faster and easier. And the other advice I would give or a suggestion I would give is it would be great if the bottom part of this bag was black canvas because then it wouldn't show when it gets dirty because it's a camera bag. You know, you're carrying it around with you, you're biking, you're splattering stuff on it, you're putting it down on public transit, you're putting it down in the park, it's gonna get muddy, it's gonna get dirty, and all this is just gonna be stained up after a little while. So it would be really cool if just the bottom part of the bag was just black canvas, and that way it just it won't show the dirt as much, won't so show the stains as much, and the backpack will just look nicer for longer. Those are just uh, my two suggestions right there. But overall, yeah, super happy with this bag. So, all right, outro time. Let's end off this video. So thank you for watching the video. Hopefully you enjoyed that. If you have any questions about this bag, leave it down below in the comments. My channel is all about photography and videography content. So if you're into photography, videography, photography, videography, gear, tutorials, that kind of thing, definitely subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video.